Hello people out in Bitwig and YouTube land. There are lots of news here for the push for Bitwig script. And today we're looking on what's new for the push 2 controller. There's also some news uh, for the push 1. So check out the new release 7.0 and read the wiki for what's new. And I will not show everything that you can do with the controller. Instead, uh, I will only show you what's new with version 2 and what's different with the navigation. All the basic stuff, the sequencing and all these things is the same for version 1. So check out my YouTube videos for version 1. Push. So I started up the push to display application, which takes care about providing the display information. And there are several options here. So you can uh, change all those colors. For example, for the VU meters, if you don't like green, you can change this to red or uh, anything, any color you like. And if you don't like it, you can just reset it. Normally you should not need to do anything here because now the settings are uh, also, depending on your operating system, already guessed quite correctly. So hopefully everything should run out of the box. And also again, read my installation notes on the wiki, which I tested and tried it on all three operating systems. So Windows, Mac and Linux is working nicely now. I'm running it here on Windows. And so you see here, that's uh, the full path to Bitwig Studio. And when I start this push to display application also Bitwig starts automatically and so I only have to start one application and it's really nice uh, to use. What you see now we have the full graphical display. I chose not to go that very uh, basic layout that Ableton chose to use. Instead I tried to duplicate a bit the look and feel of Bitwig which is also not too colorful but it's much more graphical than uh, the Ableton version and you see more information. So if you go into the mix mode here, you will see now that we see one track and I will change that to volume for a second. And um, you see now all the tracks I have for here, four groups. And you see most of the information you get uh, with the track. You see its volume, you see its panorama. When you're playing back your sound, you also see the VU meters. So if I play back the song now, you see also the VU meters working nicely. And you see also the information uh, of your crossfader settings, of the record state, of the solo state and the mute state. And you also see the type of track and you see the color of the track. I did not choose to also use the color uh, on the buttons because I think this is pretty confusing to see which one uh, is record enabled and which not if you have too many colors. So we, if we enter that group, uh, we enable one for recording. You see clearly uh, which one is selected and which one is enabled for recording. Let's turn that off again. What, what they did with the new push 2 is to move the second row buttons up and use them for navigation instead for further commands. So with version 1 you got with the second row you get the mutes and solos. So the advantage was that you can mute and solo uh, multiple tracks at once. And now you can only um, mute and solo the currently selected track. So you do this with that one and here you can also solo the currently selected track. Uh, what the another feature is, if you long press it, you get the old behavior back. So you can now, for example, mute uh, two uh, tracks at once, or three, and if you release the mute button, you are back to the navigation mode. And if you like to have this old behavior, you can also lock it. So if you press shift and the mute button, it will be locked and now you get that old functionality back, but you lose the navigation here. So to go back to the other version, you press shift and mute again. All the same for shift solo, does basically the same. So now you can switch between solo and mute. So you can also mute a uh, solo mute multiple tracks at once like this. So if it's locked, you not fully lose the navigation. You can still toggle to track mode 
uh, that's what I put on the layout button. So if you press the layout button, you jump to the track mode and can change all parameters of the currently selected track and back to the normal one. So what you can do is you see always which uh, parameter you're editing. So now it's a volume. You see that with that brown line I put there on, on the volume track. And even if you touch a parameter, you see that it will be get thicker and you also see the exact value and you can change it then here. Same is here for panorama. Then now the panorama one gets uh, drawn in brown. And if I touch it, it gets big and you also see the value. Same for the crossfaders here. Nicely selection of the crossfader. And the same for the uh, sense. Also you see the name of the sense here. So I go to the delay. And here is different. You will see four cents at one, but you change the currently selected. So now I change the first one, the delay, but you see all the your send information in the big view. And you, if you have more than three, you can also toggle here uh, to the uh, sense five to eight. Let's add some sense maybe. So you can see what's happening. So you have now more and now we can toggle to five to eight and you now also see that send information. And you can flip between these two views and you can change the second, third for editing and you always see the indication with the brown bar which one you're currently editing. Uh, you might wonder how you can go back to the track view so you only see one channel and can edit all parameters of that channel. Um, you can either use this layout button here, so you can toggle to, let's select the track here, you can toggle between uh, these two views. But another way is simply to press that mode that currently is selected again, so then you will change uh, back uh, to the track view. Same here, for example, if we are here, press that again, back to track view. And in the track view, uh, the advantage is that you can change all parameters of the track at once. It's always also indicated by the names you see up there. So where the volume button is, that's also the volume knob. So that's a, a little hint here. So here we can change the volume, here we can change the pan, here we can change the crossfader. Uh, this one does nothing because this button is for toggling the sense. And here we can change the first one, second one, and so on. And if you toggle, you can also modify the other sense. So far for navigating the new mix mode. Another thing to look at is uh, device mode. So we need to select a device. So let's go to the um, device view. I loaded up a drum machine and what I can already show you here is if you go to the browse mode, the browse mode is really looking nice now and not so cluttered anymore. You see your six filter possibilities and only that filter that is set has a name in it. So you directly see uh, we only have filtered for drum machine uh, patches and you can have categories and all these things. Uh, and you uh, can select the preset if you touch that one and I'll use that hand, you see much more. And you see now you see a lot of patches at once on that big screen. So 48 presets at once. And I think I need to disable these two buttons because this is really annoying where able to put these buttons. You always touch them when you touch the other ones. So let's see how other users think about it. So let's select any kit and press browse again to load it. So we're back at the device mode and there in the device mode you also see navigation on top. First button toggles uh, on and off state. Now the device is off, now the device is on. And the parameters you had before uh, with the second press of device is now directly available here. So you can change to the fixed parameters, to the direct parameters and back again and also do the view changes so expand it or de-expand it show the macros and parameters is currently not working i'm still waiting for the fix from bitwig for that one 
but these two work already nicely. And if you have a VST plugin loaded, uh, let's show you, let's load a VST plugin. So if you have a VST loaded, then there's another button for the window and you can open and close the plugins window. Back to the drum kit again. To go into the device, it's that page left here, and to go out of device is page right. So press that one, and we are now in um, the, um, the drum kit. So you see the different layers of a drum kit or the drum pads. You might remember, you can always also jump directly from here. So if you are here during happily drum sequencing, you can press the select button and press the drum kit and you will directly jump into that layer for that uh, pad so you can change the volume uh, of that sound of the drum kit. Same here, pretty similar to what we had with the track display volume, panorama and the sense if there are sends here. I'm planning to add also this uh, volume view and pan view with eight layers at once, like in a track, but this is pending work, but will will follow in the future. So what else do we have here? I think these were basically the differences, all of the modes. Uh, so for example, automation, they are all there now in this new nice look. Let's have a look at that one. Also look at uh, the groove mode, tempo mode, metronome, we had that one. Okay, if we, if we touch that one also here, just showing you a bit around. Track mode clip is basically the same stuff. Scale mode also nicely looking, pressing shift for the layout, changed and updated to this night display. I hope you enjoy it and there's more to come, but this is a very big step now for the script and I think it's really nice looking. I guess the questions are coming up. Can I convert samples on these things as for Ableton? Sorry, not yet. We need an update of the API and the support of the API from Bitwig to do such funky stuff. Also, it would be great with such a big display to have note editing or to have the, the full arrangement, but these are all things not yet in API, but as I know, Bitwig, I think it will appear in the future and we can look forward to lots of nice stuff coming. And until then, create some funky music!